It's 4.45 in the morning in California. Chief Sergeant Yin is already standing at the ready. He runs one of the most successful boot camps in the United States. A boot camp is a recovery camp supervised by professional soldiers. The sergeant and his team are in charge of getting 133 young people back on the right track. This morning would be the, our, we call it shark attack, so it's when we come in um, very strong. And the purpose of this is to let them know that this is our world now. And in our world, we control everything here. The signal call for shark attack will be the board. Please inform your teams. In the dormitory, the new recruits arrived yesterday. They're still sleeping. It's their first wake-up call, and a brutal one at that. Pumps, jumps, bends. The shark attack is just beginning, and there is no escape. Squat down! Squat down! Jump! Down! Jump! Down! Jump! Down! Jump! A well-proven technique to raise the maximum level of stress and affirm his authority. No, not good enough! Did I tell you to move, yes or no? No, sir. Jimmy Jazz, go! Sergeant Brown, Yin's right-hand woman, is one of the few women in charge of the boys, but no one even thinks of protesting against her orders. With 19 boot camps to his name, Sergeant Yin quickly scopes out his new recruits. Uh, they're very motivated, they're very encouraged. They're following all the instructions. It's going really well here today. Uh, I got a good group of young boys. Push ups, go! Nothing else, you understand that? Do you understand that? On the upper floor, there's even electroshock for the girls. They represent a quarter of the recruits and are always separated from the boys. Stockton has 300,000 inhabitants and is situated an hour and a half away from San Francisco, but we are far away from the millionaires of Silicon Valley. The unemployment rate is twice as high as the rest of the country. Isolated from town, the boot camp has an important mission, to put these young people back on the right track. They are between 16 and 18 years old, a lot of them have grown up in poverty, sometimes even with drugs and violence. All have failed in school. Some have even fallen into delinquency. These young people have chosen to live isolated from the rest of the world for five and a half months, far from the temptations of their past. Their objective is to give education another chance and give themselves a future. It's a free program funded by the Army. It's been an institution in the U.S. for the past 25 years. For Cheyenne, this boot camp is her last chance to try again. Car thefts, hit and run offenses, her criminal record is already loaded. Court case wouldn't be dismissed if I didn't graduate. And so that's the main reason I'm doing it, and for my high school diploma. A lot of stick, yeah. Marisol is 17 years old. Abandoned at birth, life has never been on her side. I grew up in an abusive uh, adopted home, and I got kicked out. Um, I ended up in a shelter, and I didn't know I was pregnant. But I um, had my daughter, and right now I'm a little bit struggling. I'm still in long-term foster care, but I'm trying to get my life together for her. 
Nicholas, 18 years old, is the oldest in his group. Alone and addicted to video games, he no longer has a social life and has had no friends since he was 10 years old. As a final desperate measure, his mother sent him to boot camp. Still would rather be home than stuck here. Why? Here I can't really do anything with my life. These young people must follow the orders of around 20 army sergeants. They're going to have an experience which will shape the rest of their lives. You are not wearing a uniform. You share a flag that we wear on our shoulder. In charge is Chief Yin, a former Iraqi and Afghan leader. Do you understand? Yeah! Yeah! And your actions show that you are failing. And this is his right-hand woman, Sergeant Brown, who commands these rebellious teenagers with an iron hand. I said no, no. During five and a half months, these young people will suffer in the hope of finding a new life. But will they be able to cope? At boot camp, Operation Shark Attack continues. I said squat down! Squat down all the way, Kennedy! You can do it! I said squat! Hurry it up! Join in. Nicholas is already completely exhausted. It's just Hurry up! Follow the person in front of you! Marisol has to tap into her last resources. And Cheyenne gets herself back into order. After an hour, the sergeant gives them a glimpse into what lies ahead. Your mission for this class is to accomplish a change in your life. But in order to make that happen, you must sweat. You must work for it. You must go through the challenge and the fire today. You'll be given instructions. You will comply to my instructions. If you do not comply, your cadges will come back out here and cape you. Do you understand? Yes, Are you ready for this? Yes, Are you ready for this? Yes, Sergeant! To break completely with their old life, the recruits will have to comply with the discipline and follow the tight schedule. 